Well, in the same vein of COVID-19, with the new regulations being eased, we have a guest from the African Freedom of, of Information Center uh, joining us tonight. Flavia, take it away. You're still watching NTV tonight. The Africa Freedom of Information Center, AFIC, has been looking at the situation of COVID-19 in the country for some time now. And they've been looking at uh, government interventions on COVID-19 in about 21 districts across the country. Now, their report shows the increased attempts by government at transparency and also access to information and also timely information to the public. So we're asking whether this actually reflects the increased confidence in the government's ability to deal with COVID-19 in the country and to help us uh, appreciate and disseminate this information. We have Matthias Mwesije, who is the Programs Officer for Africa Freedom of Information Center, AFIC. Good evening, Matthias. Welcome to NTV tonight. Thank you, Flavia. Yes. Um, of course, there's a few changes that have happened uh, with the government interventions, but I think this conversation of the report you said starts in, started in June. In June. When we had, is it partial lifting yes, uh, of, the of the lockdown? What lockdown. informed the need for this research or this report? Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, we needed to understand how much information uh, citizens have regarding COVID-19. Yes. This information would help them to participate and the process of um, ensuring they are safe, ensuring that citizen, uh, all citizens are, that the government uh, provide all uh, the needs, uh, especially in ensuring that uh, us, the common citizens, are safe. So we set out to understand how government is responding to citizen needs in terms of um, information, where the, if they needed to get information about prevention, how where do they get it, yes. how to get it, and uh, the frequency. Mm. Uh, when we did the monitoring in um, four regions, that is uh, West Nile, Teso region, Karamoja, and Kigezi region, we got a number of a lot of interesting information yes. regarding how the government responded to COVID-19. One of the issues that really came out is um, it was about um, the information. Citizens received a lot of information. It's interesting because most government interventions, people say we don't have enough information. This mm. was the opposite. They had too much information. Yes, they had too much information that uh, was not broken down. Yes. So this one brought in an element of fear mm. among us people. It also brings in an element of fake information yes. that uh, so really citizen uh, relied on. It needed the government to come back and uh, break down this information yes. into small pieces of information for a local person, a grassroots person to understand mm. this information that would help this person to remain safe. Okay, so th that's access to information. Does that then also answer the transparency? Um, basically regarding transparency, um, the research uh, or the monitoring uh, found out a lot of uh, gaps. Uh, I can say that um, uh, first of all, we appreciate the government uh, allocated uh, funds yes. that um, went down to the district task force. But uh, first of all, um, the information regarding the fund, citizen, most citizens did not get this information. Mm -hmm. Of course, transparency and accountability rotates on information. Yes. So the, the, the amount of information that was disclosed was not sufficient enough to mm -hmm. get transparency and accountability. Right. And uh, again, uh, um, you know that uh, in uh, government works through frameworks yes. and uh, existing structures. For example, at the district local government, procurements are supposed to be, to be done by the procurement officers mm. following uh, the framework. Yes. And uh, we saw that uh, most districts did not involve procurement officers in mm. the procurement processes. Uh, of course, uh, this brings in a gap. We saw an element of emergency procurement. And of course, um, we understand that uh, during crises, it's very hard to follow the process, yes. the, the existing guidelines, uh, the framework. It's but a crisis. It's no a one cri prepares for it. Yes, no yes. one is prepared for it. Mm. But then uh, when um, the procurement is done, when you go back, 
the books, the procurement plans, the what they're not uh, updated. Right. So mm. that becomes a, a problem. A problem. Mm. Again, even up to now, if you want to check, districts or most entities have not accounted for the funds mm. that they received. The common person, the citizen, needs to know how much how much money came. The and how it was used. Uh, how it was used. Right, interesting. That's uh, the program officer from uh, Africa Freedom of Information Center, Matthias Mwesaje. You're still watching NTV tonight.